So, good morning once again. My name is Teresa Bořecka and I am a team manager for the management activity and the, our activity that is called SIPO. Our project focuses not only on the professional development of teachers but also uh, school principals. By supporting uh, school leadership, we want to enhance the quality of the school. But we uh, have several projects that focus on the support of leaders. Um, School principals can also be members of the um, subject uh, teams and uh, they can get further support uh, how uh, to support the newly qualified teachers. Our activities uh, within the management activity, but also within the SIPO uh, project are reflected into certain stages of the support for leaders. The vision that was briefly presented by our director on Thursday. And our support within the project focuses on a selected uh, stage and I'm really happy that you could hear the support for the uh, school principals uh, uh, during the initial uh, induction training. Uh, uh, then the SIPA project we have prepared the so-called management activity and when we were preparing it we asked why are we doing that and why uh, do we want to focus only on the school management so one of the motives was that the school principal even though he or she has a big team is always uh, alone and we didn't want to uh, let the principals feel lonely and to provide some support one of the tools we have prepared is the model of the system of support for the professional development that can help uh, with self-reflection and we also provide space for these leaders for sharing uh, experience with the colleagues also for inspiration and so on we also have the members of the standing conference of principles which is our advisory body that uh, includes the school principals uh, directors of various schools that also representatives of public administrations, universities uh, and also professional public. The members of the standing conference of uh, school principals also work in uh, four uh, sections. There is one section for kindergartens where they address uh, problems related to kindergartens. We have also section for elementary schools, also for secondary schools and uh, universities. We also have a section for uh, the directors of um, art school and conservatories. Mm. They helped us to create us uh, the model of the system of support and they also help us with the preparation of various activities for the support of a school leadership. I several times mentioned uh, the word model, so you might be interested what it looks like. Uh, uh, just to simplify it, these are four uh, documents that help the readers to answer the question, what is expected from the school principal? And the first step, the candidates may actually use for the decision whether they want to become a school principal or not. So the first document is the so-called manual that helps the readers to know what our model is about and how they can work with that. The first part our material is based on is the draft competence model that helps the readers to learn what they are expecting 
expected to know as school principals. And uh, uh, we work with three development stages of the school principal. The first stage focuses on uh, the applicant up to newly qualified principles. The second stage um, focuses on the uh, current school principles who want to develop their skills. So these are school principles who are not newly qualified newly appointed, but they are still not uh, so experienced. These are principles who want to acquire more experience. And the third stage we work with in our competence model describes the principles who are already experienced. They support their team, they cooperate with their team, they might be real masters in the field. And apart from this competence model, we also prepared another competence model for a deputy uh, had teachers. To simplify the work with the competence model, we divided uh, leader competences into six areas, and we have sub-areas as well. The first uh, part shows uh, the basic ideas, and then uh, it is uh, elaborated on that in other parts. Just like the previous material provided a list of activities that need to be performed by the school leaders and uh, describes the skills, the document we have distributed to you was prepared as follows. We took the competence model and uh, took out the so-called elements that have uh, development potential. For example, how to make the teaching process more efficient. So for uh, selected elements or components, we prepared um, the cards. You can see one example of the card. Uh, they all have the same structure and they help the users with the assessment of the achieved level of competence. It is the tools for self-reflection. This is one of the things we really realized quite a lot, that it's important not to assess the principle from outside, but provide an opportunity to him or her to assess themselves, yeah, which is, of course, we are not always successful in that, because it's very difficult to uh, reflect on your own abilities. Therefore, we prepared this call. Uh, we have a virtual mentor, the uh, gentleman on the card with the beard, and he asks various questions in the upper part of the card. We can see a symbolic school principal in the red shirt who reflects on where this is reflected in the a document of a high quality school prepared by the school uh, in Czech school inspectorate and this material is also used for the assessment of schools in the Czech Republic. There are also other links to other materials and documents. Uh, there is also a hex hexagon uh, which uh, 
includes various uh, questions that can be used for the reflections. To the right from the card, you can see an example of a working sheet where a school leader uh, has a possibility to write the answers to the questions, and we also um, try to make them to reflect on the impacts of uh, his uh, or her decisions. Uh, so I first ask a question, do I do that at all? And if yes, how do I know that I do it? Now, if you turn the card uh, on the other page, you can see an example of possible evidence. And there are also three descriptions of quality that can inspire the readers to say in which areas they want to further develop and how to proceed. And these uh, quality descriptions can also help them to identify their development needs. What do they want to do further, what do they want to improve, and how do they recognize it. The other uh, side of the working uh, sheet uh, is also about the setting of their own journey for the professional development, identifying professional needs, setting the targets, and also what it will look like when they already know it, uh, when they will be able to say, yes, I have already achieved the goal. And we know that reflecting on these questions is extremely important but also difficult for a newly qualified uh, uh, principal. So we have prepared also the third material, which is called the um, planning for professional development. And the first part is called the guide through the school principal development. And it should help the principals reflecting on the possibilities, what they have, and it also provides inspiration for various formats of support and also for self-reflection, how to reflect uh, uh, on the support provided. Here we can see a beautiful path that shows uh, the possibility. We try to uh, guide the users to ask, under what conditions do I want to develop? Do I want to develop um, uh, myself on my own? or do I prefer group activity? Do I prefer online um, activities or face-to-face -face, uh, uh, program? And would it be great if support is provided in my own school or do I want to visit another school to see how they do it there? And it is also important to uh, make the teachers Think about how much time they want to dedicate to uh, their own development. And they should also realize how important it is for them to develop themselves so that they could set priorities. This material also helps us to reflect on what my uh, preconditions uh, are, whether I am a proactive type of a person. So or whether I am rather a passive person, whether I like to listen more. So it helps me to select the appropriate activity so that I would not be disappointed at the very beginning. We have uh, also drafted uh, a piece of the material where we lead, potential leader, uh, how they should uh, reflect like the support, whether the particular activity, the support corresponded to my needs. Am I successful in uh, what I have uh, learned to apply in practical life? Uh, what in particular I have already tried out, tested, where my self evolution, self development is influencing the team, how it's reflected uh, in school life. 
all these are questions from the leaders because they should be always aware of the fact that their development, their evolution should go hand in hand with the school. So the vision of the school should correspond to the development of the leader, of its leader. And when the principal or headmaster has uh, the reflection, they should also be aware of uh, the need to relax, which is very, very important. Then they can actually choose um, another topic and continue with their self-education. We also have a sort of a guide through the appointment of the principal. When we were drafting this material or discussing it, we had several goals. We are quite aware of the fact that we may support the principals, but we also need the founder to support the principals. And we ask a question, what we can do it do for it. And as a result, we have drafted very, sim very uh, simple instructional cards. So the founders may ask a question, what type of school they are founding, what type of principle looking for. It uh, offers a set of questions which uh, the founders may ask the, the applicant for the position. We are also trying to open the minds of uh, the founder, what their role could be in supporting uh, the principle from the very beginning. And of course, we try to reflect also the perception of an applicant. Uh, should be aware of the fact that uh, this materials could help to prepare for, uh, for the interview, could uh, lead the person towards answering the question whether they, they really want to become principal of the particular school and what they could uh, do to uh, evolve further the school. So that was briefly uh, explication of uh, our support, which was uh, drafted uh, within uh, our SIP of, uh, program, uh, which is the system of support for the professional development of teachers directors. And currently, we are also working on additional uh, program. We, we are trying to support schools uh, getting the feedback. Based on the feedback, we are to review the materials, amend the materials. And, you know, I'm very glad that we are getting positive feedback. Of course, we get a certain negative feedback, for example, with the graphic design of it. And we get a feedback which helps us to improve the cards, the instruction cards. Parts. Nevertheless, they are perceived as a very appropriate tool for self-reflection. I'm very proud on our team, which drafted them. Within the piloting uh, model, we offer support of school, be it workshop, individual workshop, group, uh, consultancy. We offer online bench learning, which uh, offers an opportunity to learning, learning from the others based on uh, an inspiration from the others 
us. This is an online activity, e-learning activity. The first feedbacks we're getting from the online bench, le bench learning are very positive, and I firmly hope uh, we will be able to achieve uh, perfection. We are quite aware of the fact that uh, the principals, uh, their role is very, very de demanding, and they have to care for so many people, so we try to also offer a slightly different approach to professional uh, education and development. We try to foster the well-being of the teachers and uh, principals. We have uh, drafted uh, a conference, uh, the title of which is Path for the Principals and Headmasters. The main target of the conference is to show that to dedicate time to physical, mental health, to uh, relaxation, it's not a loss of time, but it's investment into further growth. Thank you very much for your attention, and I'm convinced that uh, our conference brings not only education, but also gives you the opportunity to relax. So, thank you very much. If you have any questions, comments, I would gladly answer those. Thank you very much for your presentation. Maybe the colleagues who have never heard about the program before, could you maybe mention on the time framework the project of a site? SYPO was launched back in 2018, the model for support uh, of the principles or was uh, carried out in phases. The final version we had available, we have available since uh, 2021, and we are now in a pilot phase. So, but, uh, you know, I firmly hope, based on the feedback, we will be able to launch it into line. The, the whole project will be running till June 2023. Um, thank you again for the wonderful presentation and the organizers, how you've arranged the whole symposium, the picture that we are getting. Um, in Finland, we've been working, uh, providing principal qualification programs and qualify, qualifying programs for royal educa educational leaders since 1996. And I, I typically listen to people, do we get confirmation to what we've been doing? And, and I think we got a lot of uh, confirmation. If I understood right, uh, you are trying to serve all education forms uh, with what you're doing. Uh, then you had the six competencies and uh, maybe Google Translator was not that accurate all the time, but comparing what you have with the competencies, I think we got confirmation to what we have. Uh, uh, you did not use the concept of inquiry method, uh, which we do a lot, but I, I found it in what you are doing, uh, especially in the developmental plan. And, and some years ago, we integrated the developmental plan systematically in, in all our educational programs. And the cards that you have, uh, they were just wonderful. And what we've identified is that educational leadership is very contextual. And in your cards with the questions you connected, the individual development with the organizational one and including the well-being too. So just wonderful work and a lot of, as I said, confirmation to what we've been doing. And, and one more thing there that you have the Conf no, sorry. You, yes, you have the conference of directors. 
or, or principles. That's how the Google Translator had it. So you have the experts, the people you are trying to support on board when you are working for the program for them. Uh, so, and that's highly valuable. So a lot of confirmation to us. Thank you. Highly interesting. Not really a question. There would be a lot of detailed questions, but I'm aware of time. Thank you very much for your comment. It's quite nice to hear. Within the SYPO, we wanted to draft such tools, prepared tools, which could be used in future when planning for the programs and the standing conference of directors or principals you've mentioned is uh, the association of uh, principals, headmasters, where we gather the information from them, what they need, what they would like to focus on, what we should focus on, uh, in close cooperation with them. Uh, the concept of a SPA for principles uh, was uh, drafted after COVID period and other very demanding, uh, demanding activities. We really arrived to the conclusion that they have to cater for uh, all the time for someone. So we thought it would be nice if someone caters for them as well. Thank you. And Slovenia, congratulations. Um, and I think that this well adds to the first part of the presentation. I cannot agree more than what Mike, uh, Mika was already saying. So um, what we see here is just a, a sort of a confirmation that not just you, but also we are doing the right things and that we know why we are doing the right things. Um, I especially would like to comment on or, or add um, that along the program that was introduced in the first part of this symposium, um, the way you approached with the competency model and then other forms of support. Because in practice, in Slovenia, it has shown that it's not just a program that adds value, but that there are actually other types of support that are added to the program itself. So you mentioned like workshops, individual consultations, group consultations, and so on. Um, just a minor question because I would like to, um, and I'm interested in what exactly you meant by bench learning because this wasn't quite clear to me. And maybe if we have time, can you say a word about the model for deputy head teachers? Thank you. At first, I'd like to start with the second part of the question. All our activities are open also to deputy uh, principles, and I said that the competence model includes the draft of the competence model for deputy uh, principles for pedagogical process. As our school system is quite varied and each school is different, it's very difficult to prepare a harmonized concept for deputy principles because it also depends on the composition of the team you have. So we just wanted to prepare a draft. It reflects the same areas as the competence model for school principles, and it is, I would say, the uh, subset of competences of the school principles. In some aspects, the deputy principle um, 
Um, uh, may have even more responsibility because sometimes t- uh, they are delegated uh, certain tasks, but um, it is also the whole program for uh, them. And regarding the online bench learning, we were inspired by the fact that we have school principals that have v- very inspirational stories, and we wanted um, to have the sharing of skills to try the possibilities how to support uh, um, members of the leaderships in learning communities. Uh, mutual learning is important, so we didn't want them to be alone in their learning. And the concept in online space is as follows. We have uh, school principals from the um, hosting school, and uh, Mm. The, through the bench learning, there is a head teacher in cooperation with consultant who knows how to use these cards. And at first meeting, the participants are inspired by the story of the school principal, how his or her competences in the given area are um, reflected, how this influences uh, the operation of the school. Cool. Uh, currently, we have the director of the kindergarten or head teacher from the kindergarten. The topic is the vision of kindergarten and code of conduct. And the head teacher described how he implemented the shared vision at school, how they prepared the code of conduct, uh, and also he guided us through various activities. And we all also ask the participants to share the experience with the introduction of this topic, so where the bottlenecks were, um, or problems, and uh, also we uh, want them to identify what we as school principals need in order to be able to manage uh, um, the given area, the problems in the given area. So the first meeting, uh, they learn what they want to learn, uh, what is important for them to implement that school. And then we meet again after two to four weeks. Uh, Of course, at the beginning, there are some reports. uh, And then we speak about the first action step. Uh, What did you you do? And what did you reflect on over the period of time we didn't see each other? And then we uh, broke them out into groups so that they can discuss that. And there are both uh, head teachers, school principals, deputies, school principals, and they talk about um, problems, obstacles they needed to overcome so that they do not have to reinvent the wheel and they can learn from other people's mistakes. And then we are happy to hear feedback from these participants, but most of these processes are long-term processes. So uh, after bench learning, we uh, want to convene them again and we want to ask uh, about how they are doing and also about the feedback.